in the mornings when I'm tired or my eyes look puffy. I take a cold spoon from the freezer. Just kind of go like this. And it actually helps a lot. Good morning, everybody. Today we are going to Ikea and we actually woke up a little bit too late. And so we're kind of hustling to get out the door right now. So I just thought I'd kind of fill you guys in while I'm getting ready for the day. So we're getting stuff for Nolan's office. Like that's the primary reason we're going there. But we're also going to get some stuff that I've been needing for our house. Since we moved, Ikea has been closed for the most part. It kind of just opened up. We haven't been able to like really go in and shop and stuff. And so since it's back open, we're going to go this morning when it opens because... We actually went a couple days ago and they were all out of the desk that Nolan was wanting, which was such a bummer. So they told us that the Alex drawers or whatever sell out really quickly. So to get here early if you want to get those. So we're going to get there at 10 o'clock or actually probably earlier. We'll probably get there around 9.30. I'm trying to be semi-quiet because Nolan's in a meeting right now in the kitchen. So I'm going to finish getting ready and we're going to head out the door and I get to Ikea. This trip also did not go as planned. They are still out of the drawers that we need for his desk. And so we kind of had to not compromise. He's actually happier with the decision that he's making on what he's gonna get now, which is good. And then we picked up all our other stuff that we needed slash wanted. So we're actually gonna be able to put his desk together today, which is awesome because at the beginning we weren't quite sure if we're gonna be able to even have a desk for him today. But I think we have everything we need. Nolan's just going through the clearance right now, so I thought I would update you guys. Just a side note, if you're needing to shop at Ikea, I don't know if this is the thing for all Ikeas, but they are very out of stock of a lot of items, which has been a little bit frustrating today. But we made it work and we found good substitutes. So we're home now and we finally found everything we needed. And I'm gonna kind of just give you a little quick overview of everything. Most of the stuff I got was organization stuff because I'm gonna be organizing my closet, my underneath my bathroom sink, just a little bit, as much as I can. And let's see, I'm gonna be putting Nolan's desk together, which I'm very excited for because I love putting together Ikea furniture. Oh, I also got some pantry organization stuff, mostly just jars to put like ingredients in and stuff. So it's easier to find because we have a really small pantry now. So I'm like, okay, I need to get this thing as organized as possible because things are kind of on top of each other. So these are the things I got to organize my closet with. And then Nolan got this. For cable management, I'd be lying if, if I told you I knew what that was because I definitely don't. Um, he got this pothos plant and this really cute pot for the pothos for his shelves in his new office. And then we also got this little succulent for his office. I got these little organizational drawer things for our bathroom drawers. And then I got all these different sized jars for our pantry. This is a lot of random stuff for Nolan's office, some cable management stuff. He also got this cork board, not cork board, but like pin board that we're gonna put up. And so a lot of that stuff goes on the board. This is a shelf that's gonna go above his desk. This is his desk. I also got this, it's upside down, but I'm gonna put this in our bathroom. This is the little overview of stuff. So I just wanted to give you a quick overview of what his room looks like right now. He actually already traded out the door desk. So he has his old desk that was- That was a little too big. Yeah, it was too big. I think I'm gonna to try to fit this in my closet so I can have a little bit of extra storage since he'll have his drawers and he'll have some kind of shelf up here for decor, which will look nice. This wall just has like gear. This is just the more practical wall because he shoots YouTube videos and so he kind of needs stuff out. And then lastly on this wall, he was kind of saying that he might do a storage unit under there, which I think it would look good over here. And then he has this little board. Okay, so I finished the desk, got it all set up. No one hasn't seen it yet. He's in a meeting right now. So he'll probably come out here in a couple minutes so I can show him what it looks like. You're filming that reaction? Yeah. 
Nice. I love it. I actually, I, I like this better actually with the smaller, um, I like it better with these. What kind of are unique? This is what my drawer looks like currently. It's definitely a disaster. It's just all kind of thrown in here. It's not too hard to get around in, but it would be nice for it to be a little bit more organized. And then under here, it says organized. It, look, it looks super disorganized, but it's just because there's cords for all my like hot tools and my makeup. I really, really, really want to get something to organize this. I just couldn't find anything at Ikea. It's kind of an awkward shape because it's like really narrow to get in. And then in here is what I'm wanting to organize with that chest for underneath here. And then we'll just move things around as we can. I'm gonna show you what I've done in these drawers so far. So I'll just start with my drawer. This one was actually really tricky. I thought the size of these containers would fit perfectly in here, which they do, but the hard thing was like, I have a lot of things that like barely don't stand up in here. So I still have a lot of stuff laying down, which is fine. This is a little bit more organized. And then just like my headband for washing my face my little small serums in here, my body lotion, my deodorant, and then all my facial stuff, and then obviously my brush. So that's that, it shuts really nicely. And then in here, this looks a little bit more organized. I just have my hot tools back there in that basket, and I just don't think they can get looking more organized unless I had something with a lid, but that's just the hassle. Who has time to take a lid off? Find your hot tool, no. And then I just have my products down here that I use well, on a weekly basis. Um, definitely not every day. So I have that stuff there so it's easy to reach. And then in here, you can't really see all the stuff in the back, but there's some stuff in the back. And then I have this little chest. I have my hair ties. Um, we just ran out of floss, so I'm gonna go get more floss, but that will go in there. Band-aids my face mask drawer it's a little bit full and then in here we just have like our clippers and stuff like that eyebrow stuff and then lastly this is my makeup drawer it's really nicely in there and then i also just i didn't show you guys his cabinet it wasn't really that disorganized but i just put the extra bin in here so that holds his stuff so you can just like easily pull it out so yeah that's what the bathroom ended up looking like. So now I'm gonna move to my bedroom. So I'm gonna show you guys what my closet's looking like right now. Um, I'm gonna have Nolan help me like bring the bookshelf in here, but I just thought I would give you a little tour real quick. I bought these bins to go right here <laughs> so I can utilize that space because right now I just kind of randomly threw stuff up there, whatever fit. But this is the part that I think is gonna change a little bit. I think Nolan's gonna use this, and we're gonna put the bookshelf down here, but I just have, oh, I have my makeup still there, whoops. I have some extra shoes, um, my workout stuff, all this stuff down here will go, obviously, in the bookshelves. And then on this side, I just have all that clothes, my sewing machine, and then I have my shoes just down there. And then again, the same story right here. Up there is like all my stuff that I don't use super often, so I don't have to pull it down so much. But all of this storage, I hope I'm hoping to optimize. And I, before I like really gut this closet out, I'm gonna see if the bookshelf even fits in the closet because I don't want to like unload everything and then be like, oh, I have to load it back up. So I'm gonna see if Nolan will help me move that in here now. And Let's pray it fits so we don't have to sell it.
Why do you want why do you want this more than this? You can store more stuff in here. But like it's not gonna fit. Well, let's see. It'd go to there. So I would not have my shoe rack anymore. Yeah. So the bookshelf did not fit in the closet as you guys saw. It's just way too long and i actually am like now that i'm thinking about it i don't even know if i could have like maneuvered it into the closet anyways so that being said this long big alex drawer i'm going to give to nolan so he can store all his stuff in there and then i'm going to free up space in my half of the dresser and put it in these bins my rack space was being taken up by this drawer thing because it was so tall so it's going to be nice to like have all that rack space back because some of my clothes were so crammed together like my dresses i couldn't even pull them out so i'm going to maneuver all that and open these up We got the shelf up with his little pothos plant, the studio letter board, and then he started to decorate his desk a little bit. And the desk fits so nicely in here. The shelf looks so nice. And he's gonna put some books on that side. Okay, so it is the next day. Um, we were just so tired last night. We ate dinner and then just did not get back to like the organizing stuff. So it's like, midday now I had an eyebrow appointment this morning I needed it so badly and right before we left we kind of just like pulled everything out of Nolan's room his rug came this morning which was very exciting so I'll show you kind of the progress we've progress we've made this morning it really looks more like a disaster because now we're gonna like start putting things away but I thought I'd show you what my closet ended up looking like and my drawers because that's all done i got i just put it away pretty quickly before i went to bed because i'm a little bit ocd and can't sleep with a mess so for my closet goes i have those three bins like that this one has shoes this one has i think winter clothes and then the other one has my jeans in it and then i just have all my hanging clothes then down here in this corner i have all my at-home workout stuff so i have like my rolling pin my mat my weights my bands all that kind of stuff then I have my purses in there and then a couple more things of shoes right there and then my mirror. And then on the other side, I have all my shoes. This all looks the same, sewing machine. And then these clothes and then my last bin and then I just still have my hats in this basket. I like having them in the see-through basket because then I can see which hat I'm grabbing and I don't have to take the whole thing down. So that's what in there looks like. And then for over here, I had that long big Alex drawer like you guys saw earlier yesterday and so I had to take all my stuff out of there and find a new home for it so this drawer was like pretty much just shorts which I don't have that many pairs of shorts so I put all my workout stuff right here and then for this one I just have all my t-shirts my leggings and then my bathing suits and stuff and then this is what Nolan's office is looking like right now it's kind of a mess but here's the rug you guys haven't seen the rug it really just Water. looks like his room like threw up <laughs> and it's everywhere we're reorganizing everything did you say that yes we kind of just pulled everything out of his closet that's kind of where everything was was in your closet and he had like little bins that he was using so we pulled everything out and we have it all categorized in piles by like audio batteries that kind of stuff lenses and so now we're gonna start putting that stuff away. Here's the new office. We cleaned up the floor, we put up all the decor, and it looks so good now. So I think you guys kind of saw the rug earlier, except there was lots of stuff on it. So that's the rug, it looks so nice. And then his nice clean desk. We pretty much filled up all the drawers. There's still a lot of space to organize, which is very nice. And then I think you guys saw that already the bookshelf with the decor and we're actually going back to Washington which is where we're from and we're gonna grab some of his knickknacks that he left there when we moved here we'll get those and they'll look nice then we have these curtains which make it feel very homey and then flipping around 
This is his YouTube setup where he has his light, the microphone, and then usually there's a tripod behind there, so it's a very easy setup. And then right by the door, he has this pegboard. We haven't really put anything up on it yet, but he'll definitely fill the space. And then the lamp. You guys saw these Alex drawers, and so we labeled each drawer. And again, he filled up all of them except for two, which is awesome. He really needed it. And there's tons of space still in here. Still have these two little things that are empty. So yeah, it turned out very nicely. You happy with it, babe? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> the last thing I'm gonna do in this vlog is just fill these Ikea jars that I got. I had these jars on our counter and so I'm going to replace what was in them with these because I like the wood accent on the top. I have a lot of bag ingredients and so I just wanna be able to like see what I can grab because it's so hard sifting through all the packages and like they kind of are similar. So I'm gonna fill those up right now. Here are all the jars I did, plus I did these three jars as well. I don't know what I'm gonna put in this jar yet. Maybe some trail mix, I just don't have any at the time. I ate it all. And then we have rice, coffee. We need some more rice and some more coffee. But this is all pretty much my baking slash cooking ingredients that I use very regularly. I just thought it would be easier to have them in these little cute jars. They're easy to get to. They're easy to grab out of rather than trying to like spoon it out of a bag. That's just not a very good invention. This is much easier when I'm baking and cooking and stuff just to grab stuff out. I just used this label maker. I don't love the font. I think you have to buy like a cartridge that has a different font. So maybe eventually I'll do that, but I think they're cute with the labels too. And I kind of went crazy with the labels. I'm editing this video right now. And for some reason, something happened with the audio. And so all you saw was, and so I just thought I'm just gonna refilm my outro. But I hope you guys enjoyed seeing Nolan and I make over his office space. I really love how it turned out. It's very aesthetically pleasing and it's just nice to be in there. It's very calming but creative. And so I'm really happy with how it turned out. Nolan loves it, which is the most important thing. And I hope you enjoyed watching me organize our house with these IKEA items that I got. It was very nice to get things in a place because I feel like for the past like two months that we've been living here, things have been in a place but like not super functional so it was nice to get that stuff in a good place that I'm happy with that feels organized to me. If you guys like this video please give it a big thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and hit the bell so you get notified when I post because I post videos every single week. So I'll see you in my next one. Bye! Bye.